Hi, my name's Don Farnsworth, and we're here at Magnolia Editions. Well, Magnolia is an enigma to me and to everybody that works here. We're constantly evolving and changing, and uh, don't like to pin ourselves down. We've always embraced technologies from all ages, from paper making from 2,000 years ago to 3D printing from today, and we try to combine it the best we can to expand the range of an artist's abilities. So an artist may specialize in something, and when they come to Magnolia to work with us, they can branch out and try ceramics, they can try digital, they can try handmade paper, they can combine all of these things together and do etching digital handmade paper all in one. Magnolia Editions has pioneered numerous techniques in the printing industry, from translating photographs into tapestries to printing on ceramics. Over the years, they've collaborated with many notable artists, such as Chuck Close, who recently worked with them on a project that brought them to the White House. Magnolia Editions utilizes an impressive array of different techniques to create beautiful works of art. The studio contains a sewing room for finishing the large-scale tapestries they are famous for. Another area is dedicated to paper making. There's a printing press station with etching and printing equipment, a large format printer, laser cutter, 3D printer, kiln, and a station dedicated to making pigments from scratch. All of this is to foster an environment of collaboration where each artist can create entirely unique works of art. We're not what we call a drop-off shop. You don't drop off work here and come back later. It never works that way. You have to, uh, when you translate and work with artists, you need them as part of the process. The artist comes to Magnolia and suffers with us, or plays with us, depending how you look at it. One of their recent collaborations with Claire Rojas is a ceramic tile mosaic for the subway station of San Francisco's Chinatown. Each tile features a different Chinese fabric design collected from museums and private collections. Every tile is constructed using a unique blend of techniques, combining laser cutting, traditional hand casting, and modern printing. The team at Magnolia Editions sees every new project as a one-of-a-kind experience, each with the opportunity to create something entirely new. Their collaboration with Chuck Close began in the early 2000s while developing their process of translating photographs into tapestries. First, samples are created that show all the different color threads that will be used in the image. These are separated by type. For example, some have a metallic thread to make them shine. The digital file is then sent to a factory in Belgium where the tapestry is woven on one of their industrial looms. The tapestry is then finished back at Magnolia's studios. We had done some tests with tapestries, and it looked like it was a Chuck Close to begin with. It was a texture, it was in squares, it was exactly the way this artist works, so I went to Chuck's studio and I showed him the idea. Chuck Close said, yes, let's go with it. Some other New York artists were like, eh, I don't know. Is that really me, you know? So they've defined who they are. Chuck Close, on the other hand, he's happy to experiment. He says, inspiration is for amateurs. The rest of us just show up for work. And that's what this place is about. We show up, we work. And ideas happen through the doing, through the making, through the creating. We publish at Magnolia. We don't like to focus on money, so that's why we like to publish. We don't like to say, how much something costs, because it's like, well, we want to make the best art piece possible. How could possibly money come into that equation? So what we do is we work with artists, doing the best we can with the artists, spending as much time as they can afford and we can throw at it. Using what they learned from creating tapestries from photographs, Donald and his team invented a process for printing onto ceramics, which took nine years to complete. The results can now be seen in New York's 2nd Avenue subway station. In addition to their own team, Magnolia Editions also invites artists to participate in their artist-in-residence programs. One such artist-in-residence, Guy Deal, has been involved with Magnolia Editions for almost 30 years. Some of the things that we do here is to allow artists to work with materials that aren't available to them. And one is to make their own pigment. The first experiment was to make pigment from coffee beans. And the coffee beans were 
incinerated, they were burnt. So really those beans were carbon. And the idea was to burn the beans, crush them, and we have a pharmaceutical mortar and pestle on the premises that we can grind a very, very fine pigment with that. And if we can crush it, we can make pigment. I call the people I work with master printers because this is the term that is used. However, it's troubling to me that what we're really trying to do is make the best possible art piece for every artist that walks through the door. And so we're very experimental. And I find that the master printers of our day that were trained at Tamarin and the places like that have a very confined idea of what it is to be a printer. And I like a more, a broader interpretation. So let's just say, yeah, when we want to be, we're masters. And when we want to play, we play. <laughs>